Hey, what's up everyone? This is Ben from Epic Guitar Instruction. Thanks for checking out the video. We're doing a song lesson today on Aeroplane. Great mid-90s Red Hot Chili Pepper tune, Dave Navarro era. Uh, really fun tune, a lot of good guitar parts. So we thought we'd bring you a lesson on some of the parts from the tune today. Let's take you through each of the different sections and we'll go ahead and start right at the beginning with the intro. So intro of the tune is going to find us holding out and ringing some really nice sounding chord voicings here. So these are all C type chords, but they're kind of unique. They got some unique flavors in them here. I'm going to start out by barring here all the way across my third fret and then grabbing my pinky at the sixth fret of the second string. Okay, so that's my first chord. I'm just going to strum and let that ring. My second chord I'm going to grab the fifth fret here with my ring finger on the fourth string and still keep my bar in place. Okay, third chord now. Let's bring our ring finger down to the fifth fret of the first string. And this time we're going to do a little bit of single note filling after this chord. We're going to come over here to the sixth fret and I'm going to press down here and just arpeggiate backwards. So strings one, two, three. So once again, that's play the chord here with ring finger at fifth fret. And now we'll come up here and grab the sixth fret and just pick backwards. And we're gonna answer that with finally a normal chord here. We have all these weird chords. And we'll just answer that with a basic C bar chord here. So that's the first four measures of the intro. Let's play that all together now. So we have our first chord. Three, four, we're just holding for four counts. That's the first part of our intro. Second four measures of our intro is going to find us. Now coming up here to the sixth fret. And again, same theme, I'm keeping my first finger barred here. And now I'm going to fill a little bit differently. I'm gonna fill with the fifth fret here, the sixth fret here, the third fret here, and then that. So that's a little bit trickier of a fill. Let's take you through that again. We're starting here with the strum of the chord. And then we're going to go to the fifth fret and I'm, I'm going to move my pinky up a string. That's the little answer fill. And if you just want to play the chord, that's fine too. It's, it's all going to sound good either way. Second chord, we'll see sus two action here. We're just holding down the ring and pinky finger. Third chord, we're just going to bar and just play four strings. So don't play the first string this time. And finally, back to our C chord. So here's our whole intro now, each half, four measures, and then the next four measures. We're getting into the chorus figure now, which is just some standard funk guitar playing. We're going to take two chords and we're going to play them with steady 16th notes. So it opens up with the chorus after our intro and we're just going to be strumming 16th notes, kind of getting the right hand on autopilot and bouncing back and forth between two chord voicings. Now I like to play these chords this way. Here. Uh, We'd have like a G minor 11 if you wanted to give that a title, but it's really just these three notes here. 10, 10, 11. And then that's going to a C7, like so. And you're just gonna be pumping 16ths on those. Now, 
Now, if you want to, you can play those down here. Some people like to play them down here, and this maybe will work a little bit better. Um, I just always played it in the upper position. So down here we'd have... So that's going to serve as your, your chorus rhythm. You're just going to kind of set it and forget it and play that throughout. After our chorus, we jump into a verse where those same two chords are basically stated, but just in a different way. We're going to move up the neck and play them with a different rhythm and a higher voicing. Coming all the way up here to the 18th fret, I'm going to be holding down the top two strings with the bar. And I'm going to hit those two times. Same two times again. And now we're going to play the 17th and 18th fret. So putting that in time, you're kind of thinking like this. Now, as you listen to the track, you'll hear little, little chicken scratches, little hiccups in there, right? Getting into the groove, having some fun playing some funk. Uh, guitar parts over your verse. So once you have that basic framework established, if you want to fill in and do some scratching there, go for it. And that's fine. You can add all that stuff all day long as long as you still have that foundation of those two chords going back and forth. So that's going to serve as our verse, right? Pretty straightforward. When you get back to the chorus, we're back to the chorus figure again. Now there's some overdubs that happen. There's a second guitar part that comes in while that part is playing. So let's talk about that now. Uh, we're going to switch to a distorted sound and we're going to kick on our wah pedal and we're going to play some single note lines that will complement that rhythm guitar pretty well. So over the top of our chorus figure, there's a single note, uh, more overdriven line that you can start to experiment with. Based around this idea here, we're going to hammer on from the third fret to the fifth fret of the fourth string and we're going to play single note based stuff based on 16th notes. So start getting that going. You're going to play 16th notes on this third fret note. And then you're going to hammer on from the third fret here at the fourth string into the fifth fret. And then back. You get that sort of vibe happening and you can start to experiment with it. In fact, when you listen to live versions of this song, there's all kinds of variations on that line. Get your wah pedal going. So all kinds of fun things that you can do just based on that initial idea. Let's take a listen to how that sounds against the other guitar player. Now in the next chorus, there's a different overdub idea that we see. Uh, so it gives you some variety in different things that you can do as an overdub section. So again, basically the same kind of sound, overdriven, maybe a little bit of delay, some wah definitely. And we're going to start working here on a single note line that sort of travels across the third string. Starting at the third fret, sliding up to the fifth. <laughs> Same rhythm, 5th to 7th. Now 7th to 10th. 10th back to 9th. 9th up to 12th. 12th back to 9th. Up to 10th. 7th. 9th. You're 
sort of closing out there in G minor pentatonic. So the rhythm that you're playing as you slide through those notes is kind of that gallop thing, right? Now, if we add our wah pedal in, Hey, you guys, if you want to check out some more information on rock and blues based soloing, much like you might be able to use in this song and others, check out the video link that we have down below. We have a free video lesson and a co corresponding ebook that has tons of information on rock and blues based soloing, how to incorporate it, how to improvise, what scales to use, when to use them, all kinds of good stuff to get your playing up a notch up to the next level. All you got to do is just click on the link below and we'll send that to you all for free. Now, lastly, let's take a look at the bridge section. There's a little middle section before uh, we get close to the end of the tune and we have the solos and everything else. Uh, and there's some new chord shapes that we can check out here as well. So these are mostly going to be based around strings two, three, and four. And we're going to start out with this one here. Then we're going to move to just barring at the third fret. And now we're going to add this finger in here. And then back to the third fret. And finally, we get to that little G minor shape there. So this is again 16th notes, but this time it's a little bit more quiet, uh, quietly strummed. So you're going to start out on our first shape here, 3-3-6. Three, three, So the key here is to keep the right hand pumping those 16th notes as you make the transitions. With one exception, there's a little hammer on that we'll do right at the end from this third fret into the last G minor chord. So instead of continuing to strum while you do that hammer on, I'm just going to strum and then come back and hit the downstroke. So we'll leave that one empty. However, we'll strum all the rest of them. This is the just one note can make me float away that whole section. That's what's happening. Coming out of that section, you'll have some accents on the G minor. And then that's going to lead you into your chorus again. And everything that goes along with that. So that ties all of our pieces together with the exception of the guitar solo. Maybe we can circle back and check that one out another time. But I hope you had fun with this lesson. Red Hot Chili Peppers, Aeroplane. Really great hit from their catalog. Lots of fun guitar parts. Definitely had fun bringing it to you. Once again, this is Ben Zinn for Epic Guitar Instruction. And hey, if you liked the video, give us a thumbs up. Give us a comment below. Be sure and click the subscribe button to subscribe and we'll let you know every time we post a new video. Can't beat that. So uh, be sure and tell your friends about us. Share us on Facebook. All of that good stuff. We thank you so much. Once again, Epic Guitar Instruction. And I'll see you next time. Und lernen heute for our German speaking friends and for our English speaking friends. <clears throat> what about our friends in Sri Lanka? Yes, yes, we can't forget about the Sri Lankese. Hey, if you want to take your soloing gang, gang, if you want to take your solo gang, it's not a gang, it's solo, not by yourself. It's not a posse. It's not a posse. You're soloing, just you. Yeah, hit him with the chorus right away. Get to the hook. Uh, don't bore us, get to the chorus. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Miles? Hey, buddy. Getting your camera time in? Yeah. That's right. You know you're a good boy.
All right, come on, Miles. 